Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, man. Um, I forgot to talk about this, man, because, you know, with all the hoopla going on. Anyway, man, uh, you know, Andre Ward uh, did an interview with HBO's Jim Lampley. And basically, Andre Ward put Jim Lampley and HBO in their place. I'm glad that they, Andre Ward is sort of like calling HBO out on their bullshit on how HBO has treated him. If I was Andre Ward, I would strictly sign a deal with Showtime and just fight on Showtime the rest of my career. I don't know how many fights Andre Ward got left in him um, because it sounds to me like Andre Ward is just ready to call it a career. And to be honest with you, if he beats Sergey Kovalov a second time and he walks off into the sunset, I'm okay with that. He has nothing to prove. If he beats, beats him convincingly, that's it. That's all. It's nothing that you motherfuckers can say. You know, I've met Andre Ward a couple of times. He's a good dude. He's exactly how he is. You know what I'm saying? In person on how he is in TV. In TV. He's a straight shooter. That's it. That's all. And I can respect that. And I think Andre Ward... Is pissed off on how he's been treated. He knows what's going on. And he knows what HBO is trying to do to him. And that's why he said that. Like Virgil Hunter said in an interview. You guys said that whoever won this fight was going to be considered pound for pound. But when the dude that Charles wanted to win didn't win. Then, okay, we'll say it's Triple G. A dude with a shit resume. You know, who basically a lot of people thought lost his, lost his last fight. And he right. HBO didn't keep their word. You know, the writers didn't keep their word. Because what it come down to, they just don't want guys like Andre Ward being number one. And you know what I mean by that. Black dudes. You know, men of color. You know what I'm saying? Brothers with black DNA in them. And that's what it... That's what it comes down to. See, I can say this shit because I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a professional boxer. And I don't have to worry about catching backlash and people being pissed off at me. But then at the end of the day, these boxers shouldn't even care. Because they the ones that control who get press credentials. Because like I say, the boxing media, from what, what I've seen, they're nothing but a bunch of ass kissers. You know, and that's just real talk. I, I just got to keep it 100. They scared to ask these dudes the tough questions. You know, they really are. Where me, I'm not afraid to ask these dudes the tough questions that they, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got to ask questions that they don't feel comfortable answering. Retaining the boxing. As I said before, I really don't give a fuck who these boxes are, are, are sleeping with, who they dating and and none of that shit. I don't. I really care about the sport of boxing. And I'm so glad that Andre Ward stood up to HBO. Because HBO has been basically disrespecting Andre Ward tough. You know. They forced a the man to pretty much go up to light heavyweight. And he prevailed at light heavyweight. But then they don't want to give this dude his, his just due. And HBO... Like I said, they are against black fighters. They just is. I got to keep it 100. I'm going to create my own pale for pale list. And, I'm gonna, and on the side note, if Terrence Crawford knocks out uh, Felix Diaz, a dude that a lot of people think got ducked by a lot of fighters, and he's a tough dude to fight. So if Crawford goes in there and knocks him out, I'm j Crawford is jumping to number two on my pound per pound list. Fuck everybody else's pound per pound list. Andre Ward is number one until after, you know, June 17th. Should Andre Ward prevail, which I think he will, then, you know, it stays the same. I got Ward number one and Crawford number two. As far as Lamachenko go, like I said, he got to earn his way up there. Like I said, holla at me when you get to fight 15 and you still continuing to dominate. When you get to fight 15 and you didn't dominate it and you keep like beating these dudes, then we could have this conversation. 
possibly about you at least being in the top five. But until further notice, Lamachenko ain't in my top my top ten. I'm sorry. And it just shows you by HBO, you know, taking one one nun black dude out out of number one pound found and putting another one in there. It just goes to show you that they have have an in for black fighters. Don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. You know, because they have to sell this image. Because I know what they're trying to do. They try to attract a certain, you know, fan base, or at least casual fan base. So they sort of know what they're doing. Well, not sort of. They do know what they're doing. But getting back to Andre Ward, man, I'm glad he put his foot down, man. And it's just like he said in the interview, man. They didn't keep their word, man. He said whoever won this fight would be number one. You know? But when the guy that HBO was rooting for didn't win, then all of a sudden here come the excuses. Here come the excuses from the fans. Oh, 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 oh. Ward won the fight. And I stand by that. I was there. I know what I saw. Ward won the fight. That's it. And that's all, man. No, you know, no see it.